Everybody tells you to pursue your passions. But if you don't know what your passions are, you can't pursue them. So how do you find your passion? In my experience, finding a passion can be done by doing just one thing. Fully engaging yourself into a variety of skill-based activities. If you do this, you will find a passion. But what does doing that even mean? Let's break it down. The first thing to understand is full engagement. What does that mean? Listen, I'm going to tell you a hard truth. There is no way to know if you're passionate about something if you refuse to give it a shot because you're scared that you'll fail. Here's the truth. You will fail, and you should fail. Finding a passion is not about finding something that you're innately good at. Finding a passion is about finding something that you enjoy when you're fully engaged in it. Similarly, you can't afford to, to worry about what other people are thinking or to compare yourself to others. When you're in the middle of an activity, you have to be fully engaged because you only have a finite amount of energy. And when you waste that energy on things like comparison to others, being self-conscious, worrying about failure, there's no way for you to know whether that activity is actually something that could be a passion for you because you're not fully engaged and therefore you can't find any enjoyment. You're making the activity miserable for yourself. So that's what you should be doing when you're in an activity. You should be fully engaging in it and using all of your energy on it. But what are the types of activities that you should actually be doing? I want you to think about the activities that you spend most of your free time on. If you're like most people, odds are most of your free time is spent on a screen, passively consuming content. And this is not inherently bad, but the problem is that there's no level of skill involved in it. You don't get better at scrolling through Instagram or watching YouTube videos. But on the contrary, think about something like writing or entrepreneurship or gaming. All of these things are activities that enable you to develop a skill over time. And therefore, they're the activities that have the potential to become passion. So start to seek out opportunities to engage yourself in a variety of these activities. And when I say a variety, I mean it. Not only do most people have multiple passions, but there's no way to figure out what those passions are just by thinking about it. In order to figure out what you enjoy the most, you have to try a lot of things. So what I recommend doing, make a list of skill-based activities that you've enjoyed doing in the past, or things that you've heard about and you think you might enjoy doing and then go and fully engage yourself in them. Throw yourself in. And I like to say that you have all of the time in the world for things that you love and no time at all for anything else. So if you start to do an activity that you thought might have been a passion, but then after throwing yourself into it fully, it's just not giving you that enjoyment. Walk away from it. It's okay to leave old things behind for new things that might make your life more enjoyable. Ultimately, that's what we're trying to do here. And your passions are expected to change and evolve over time. Most people don't just go straight for one activity and then realize that's what they love. There's a winding path that you'll have to follow. So be open to change. So listen, if there's one thing that I want you to take away from this video, it's this. To find a passion, you need to fully engage yourself into a variety of skill-based activities. And now you know what that means, so you can go do it. It'll be hard but it's worth it. Good luck. And if you want to watch more content like this, feel free to subscribe. YouTube is one of my big passions right now, and I'm doing my best to create meaningful content. And it really does help when you guys support with your likes and your views and your subscriptions. I really do appreciate it. So thank you so much, and I will see you next week.